All right, everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use our new Wheel Lock Exceeder Series Voltage Drop Calculation Worksheet in Excel. It was formatted in Excel, so you could easily uh, download it and save it to your computer, tablet, smartphone, uh, whatever you may need uh, when you're doing a takeoff with Voltage Drop for notification appliance circuits. With that said, um, I don't know if you've already seen our system sensor demo, but it's basically the same thing with the uh, different values inputted for wheel locks devices as opposed to system sensors. But we have the six sections again, horn strobes ceiling, horn strobes wall, let me scroll down. We've got strobes for ceilings, strobes for walls, horns, and mini horns. Uh, keep in mind the cells that are yellow in color are the only cells that you can edit as these are the cells where you have to input your quantities for each device type, candela, output, all that stuff. So as opposed to just these yellow cells here, there's one more yellow cell down here that you can edit and that's the distance for your circuit. All the orange cells here at the bottom of the yellow columns are going to keep track of your totals for each device type and those numbers will be tallied up and brought down to here for your device type totals. Not really that important for voltage drop, but it's nice to know your device types when laying a circuit out for your takeoff. And we've got strobes wall, ceiling, horn strobes wall and ceiling, horns and mini horns here. Uh, now while we're down here still, um, under your voltage drop details, as your calculations run across here, as you put your quantities in, the totals for the current will calculate down to the gray cells. And to keep it simple, we kept everything color coded. The gray cells will transport down to here automatically for your total current. And like I said, you're going to actually put your footage in here because that's an unknown to us. And the current will then transfer down to the voltage drop formula to this gray cell here. This cell here will basically be your footage that you put into your distance cell here. And then we're going to multiply that by 21.6 and we're going to get our answer here. And as we uh, work through the rest, we'll get to that in a minute. I just wanted to bring you down here to the bottom and this is where we're going to have our results and uh, these values here will be brought down to here and then we're going to have our total voltage for the circuit here and you'll notice these check, box, or check marks they're green now because the circuit is at its 20.4 volt starting range if this ever drops below 16 volts at any time this check mark will turn to a red X and same thing over here, when we get to our voltage drop percentage for the circuit with each uh, wire gauge type, that's why there's four here. Uh, if we go over 10% voltage drop, the green check here will turn red. So it's just an extra precaution, a little visual indication as to know if uh, your circuit is good or bad, uh, just by looking at it real quickly. So, to go up here, um, like I said, wheel lock's a little different than system sensor. System sensor keeps their current draw the same for both ceiling and wall, whereas Wheel Lock actually has different candela ratings for their wall and ceiling devices. As you'll notice here for the ceiling, they have a 15, 30, 60, 75, 95, 115, 150, and 70, uh, 177, as opposed to their wall mount devices, which is a 15, 15, 75, 30, 75, 95, 110, 135, and 185. So it's a little bit different than the system sensor one, so that's why we'll go through it a little bit here. Um, okay, so for the demonstration, we'll go ahead and just put a couple values in here. So we'll just do a couple for each uh, circuit type or device type. And like we stated earlier, as you'll see, the orange column here is taking the totals from the yellow columns. So that'll keep track of your device types. You see that's all filled out all the way down, and then right here is your total. So strobes wall, we have five, two, three, and, and so forth. So that's a nice little thing there for you guys. And like we talked about earlier too, the gray cells is going to add up your total current for the circuit, and that is going to tally up right here, your total current, which is 1.586. And then we're going to go ahead and put our distance in here because that's an unknown to us. So for this demonstration, we'll go ahead and put 150 feet in here. And once you do that, the voltage drop formula actually has all the information it needs to start doing its work. So you'll see the total current was transferred down to here. Then we're going to multiply that by the distance that we inputted in this cell here. Multiply that by 21.6 and we get 5,138.64. That number will then 
Same with the color code, move down to here. And this is, there's four of these in place just simply because of the four different wire gauge types we have. For 18, 16, 14, and 12, these are the different circular mills per NEC for those wire gauges. So we've got 16, 20, 25, 80, 41, 10, and 65, 30. So this number from the voltage drop formula here will be divided by uh, the circular mills and it'll give you your volts dropped on the circuit here in blue. We're gonna take those and we're gonna move them down to the voltage drop results section here. And we're gonna have our starting voltage of 24 volts DC that we've derated to 85% per UL. And that gives us a starting voltage of 20.4 volts DC, which we've inputted here. And like I said, we took the numbers from our voltage drop formula, moved them down here, and we're subtracting those numbers from 20.4 on each line. And we come across here and you'll see the total voltage for the circuit. And like we stated, it's above 16 volts on all of these. So we have a green check mark next to all of these circuits, as well as the voltage drop over here You'll notice that three of them are below the 10% threshold, so they are green. However, the one with 18 gauge wire is at 13.217 volts or uh, percentage voltage drop. So we get a red X there. So we know that with these particular values inputted into the circuit with this distance, we can run our circuit on 16, 14, or 12 gauge wire. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, I think it makes it's pretty easy with it streamlined with all color code and everything. All the formulas are automatic, as you can see. So uh, go ahead and give it a try. If you want to uh, join our Facebook group, it's titled Fire Alarms Online for NYSIT. I'll put a link to the group in the description to this video. And also check out our website, firealarmsonline.com. And if you want this, uh, this uh, sheet, you can go ahead and email me at info at firealarmsonline.com. Be sure to check out our other videos on YouTube, and uh, thanks for watching.